I believe that Passover this year is not only a passing over of evil, but also a breakthrough for those who dare to believe what the Spirit is saying. And I'm talking about the Passover passageway, the Passover portal. I believe we are walking through the other side of another dimension today. Because Passover has everything to do, listen, it has everything to do with the entryway. What we allow into our homes, what we allow into our minds, into our hearts, into our thoughts. Amen. Whenever the Spirit of God tries to bring about and to rot something, W-R-O-U-G-H-D, rot something new in us, we tend to want to resist or shut the door. But it's evident in these two that have already stepped out of faith and said, I'm putting this right, I'm putting this in God's hands. Because I need God to pass over. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> because it's up for our children. I see that beautiful little Shane, uh, Nathaniel Shane, and the smiles and the full of life and what a blessing and what, what a surprise he was. Didn't plan it. And now all the discomfort and all the, I want this baby out, I'm done with this. It's all, all that bitterness is, is all in the past. Because now you see the fruit of your labor. Now you see the fruit of, and let me tell you something, when, when we, we take for granted, we take for granted. I watched Oprah Winfrey. She was doing a Where Are They Now show. And she was reflecting on some little baby that was born to a, a husband and wife. And he was born with some deformity, and some he wasn't even supposed to survive his own birth. But this little baby, I think his name was Tim, and the father wrote a letter to Tim every single day that he was alive. Thanking God that he was alive. And for 99 days, he wrote letters, and on the 99th day, little Tim went to be with the Lord. And I watched Oprah Winfrey, the great, powerful Oprah, crumble under the emotion of knowing that that baby had touched these people's lives with such a powerful and dramatic, deep, deep emotion. And that it was yet still touching us. And I sat there in tears. I'd already seen it before, but I sat there in tears. Once again, because I realized how fragile life is. Yes. I realized that my babies in the West Coast are in God's hands. And that there's absolutely nothing that I can do about helping them but to trust the Lord. But to trust the Lord and to wait on Him to do what He's going to do. And every time, every single time that we have stepped out in faith, every time, Judy, every single time, every single time that we have stepped out in faith and sown. And I'm talking about, listen, we're going to receive our offering here at the, at the close, as we always do, but it's going to be a Passover offering. And it's an offering of sacrifice. And, and you said, you, you, you say, but every offering is a sacrifice to me. No more. No, that's right. I'm telling you, church, there's a knocking at the door, the passageway. The knock, the, the answer is all, the, the package is already at the door. I, I ordered a sewing machine. On eBay. Not really for myself. I ordered it for my tree. Because she's my sewer. And she and I can do some crazy things with sewing machines. But I needed some new, new cushions for my outdoor patio. 
stuff. And, and the sewing machines we have are just too wimpy. So I went on eBay and I found me a, a singer a sewing machine that's uh, industrial and, and strong. And, and, and I was waiting for it and waiting for it like I was waiting for a, 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 I mean a, a new car or something really cool, something really... I was so every day I would look on the front porch to see if it had come. And Thursday, we came early to church. And then we had service and I went home in the dark. And the package was out on the front door the whole night. And when I woke up on Friday going, I wonder if my sewing machine is coming today. It was already at the front door. Hallelujah. And I was so excited to see that, see, we, sometimes we're anticipating and we're hoping, we're praying and we're begging when the package is already sitting at the front door. But we just have not opened. But we don't open ourselves up to experience what's out there. We're so closed off. We're so secluded. We're so private. We're so hidden behind our passwords. Hello. Yeah. And boy, they've been, they, they've been talking about uh, 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 um, changing your passwords and stuff. And I understand why. Because I've had three people that uh, their accounts were ha hacked because I got emails from them that were some bogus emails for some diet uh, product or something. But we're so protected in those areas. And, and at the same time, we're closing off to the blessings that God has for us. We cannot live in fear. We cannot live because you know what? You become a prisoner of your Trying to protect yourself, trying to protect your children, Amen. that you miss out on the blessing. I have been excited for this week to come, the last few weeks. Amen. Something's been stirring in my spirit about this Passover. And it was stirring long before I knew anything about the four blood. I, I, I'm telling you, church, as God is my witness, you have to believe me. I don't, I, I don't study Marian studies, all that. I, the Holy Spirit directs me, leads me, guides me, shows me. I don't watch Christian TV. I'm not connected to any special websites or any, I don't get any special uh, books or book offers or uh, let me know what's happening globally. But the Spirit is very accurate. When the Holy Spirit begins to speak to me and the Holy Spirit begins to move, just like in the prophetic word. Many of you don't, don't know, but part of that word was God said, look for the stocks with my name on it. And Monique was, was uh, said, well, the, the, the name that for sure has the name of Yah in it is Yahoo. So I said, well, y'all better look into the stocks of Yahoo. I don't know what, I haven't heard anything about Yahoo. I mean, you hear about Apple stocks, you hear about Google stocks. And you know, I never really hear about Yahoo, but it's, but Yahoo's a mainstay. Right. It's not going anywhere. Right. Hello? And come to find out, Yahoo is connected to some stock or some uh, company, major company that's like a Google over in China. Am I correct? Oh, yeah. Unbeknownst to me, but the Spirit of God is trying to give us the insight and the intel, if you will. Hallelujah. So that we can become those people whom he, he said, I'm going to bless you wherever you go. I'm yes. going to prosper you. And you're going to say, oh my God, we're, we're sitting here begging to pay our light bill. God's saying, I'm, I'm ready to bless you abundantly. Come to find out, this company is just now going getting what is it, the IPO or a IPO? IPO is going public, which will no doubt affect the Yahoo stock. Yes. Church, we've got to recognize that God really, really is taking care of every last detail. Amen. Listen. 
We got we have legal insider trading. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Because the Holy Spirit is giving us, and I can hardly wait until God just blows the lid off of that whole thing. Not so I can look good and say, oh, I said, I said, I said it. I will say I said I said it. But I want God to get the glory. I want I want people to recognize that God is speaking. Yeah. One of the one of the most moving parts of, of the movie Noah was was when Noah's wife, after he had he had had a dream, and he said she she was so excited. She said, "What did he say? Did he speak?" And then the the antagonist, the, the, the guy, the enemy guy, was over there going, Why don't you speak to me? Because God had shut the heavens and been silent for a time. And I'm grateful this morning that God is not silent, that God is very much hearing our cries, hearing our shouts, Zena. Receiving that adoration, Ray Ray, on your face. Amen. Little Kayla said that she had a, a word to what last Sunday or the week before. Said that everybody who had a tali needed to get out and down at the altar on their faces. And it's you know, you know what? Sometimes we do have to posture ourselves. Amen. Catherine was so excited because they went to to the, the synagogue, the, the temple there in L.A. yesterday. Hallelujah. And, and the Lord spoke to both of them, to Catherine and Carrington. They said it was, it, was, it, it, was, it was very different. It was hard to understand because much of it was in Hebrew. But my son posted on his Instagram... <coughs> A part of the Amidah, the prayer, during this Passover time. And I want you to silently, in agreement, where you are seated right here this morning, to pray silently in your spirit as I recite this prayer, which is straight from Torah. And it starts off, May we and the entire house of Israel be remembered. And recorded in the book of life. Blessing, sustenance, and peace. Praised are you, O Adonai, source of peace. And the prayer says, My God, keep my tongue from evil, and my lips from lies. Help me ignore those who would slander me. Let me be humble before all. Open my heart to your Torah that I may pursue your mitzvah, your blessings. Frustrate the designs of those who plot evil against me. Make nothing of their schemes. Act, listen, act for the sake of your compassion, your power, your holiness, and your Torah. Answer my prayer for the deliverance of your people. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, my rock and my redeemer. May the one who brings peace to his universe bring peace to us and to all the people, Israel. Amen. And Catherine called us last night and she said, Daddy, I learned that the reason that the, that the Jewish men, when they're reciting the Torah, they... They bow like this under, under the uh, under the talit as they put it over their heads and, and they they they're they're quoting the scripture they're quoting the Torah and they're and they're flickering back and forth because it is it is a symbol of that as as the psalmist wrote that the the word that our, I will bless the Lord with all that is within me and so we moved in to, to, as a sign to let God be present with our lips and with our heart. But we praise Him with our bodies as well. And they, they flicker back and forth. But they also says it also means that it's, we're like a flame that is on, on, the, on the wick of a candle that is burning brightly.
that is flickering, trying to, re to ascend up into heaven. Hallelujah. And so we flicker, we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who healeth thy diseases, who forgiveth thy iniquities. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. There is something so holy and so powerful that's taking place this morning, church. Something so powerful in this simple prayer. Because it's a prayer of alignment. I'm going to pray it again. And I want you to repeat after me. My God. Keep my tongue from evil. And my lips from the lies. Help me ignore those who would slander me. Let me be humble before all. Open my heart to your Torah. That I may pursue your mitzvah. Yeah, Frustrate the designs of those who plot evil against me. Make nothing of their schemes. Act for the sake of your compassion. Act for the sake of your compassion. Your power. Your, power, your, holiness, your holiness. And your Torah. And your Torah. Answer my prayer for deliverance. Answer my prayer for deliverance. The deliverance of your people. The deliverance of your people. May the words of my mouth. May the words of my mouth. And the meditation of my heart. The meditation of my heart. Be acceptable to you. Be acceptable to you. My rock and my redeemer. My rock and my redeemer. May the one who brings peace to his universe. The one who brings peace to his universe. Bring peace to us. Bring peace to us. And to all the people. And to all the people. Israel. Israel. Amen.